Welcome to The Pain Pod. This is the podcast where you can hear from your favorite physicians on their experiences treating pain and how they got there. On this week's episode, we are joined by interventional pain physician, Dr. David Gordon. Dr. Gordon attended medical school at the Indiana University School of Medicine and relocated to Chicago where he attended the University of Chicago for his residency in anesthesiology. He later went on to complete a pain fellowship at the University of California in San Francisco. He has since been working at Center for Pain Management in Indianapolis, serving a vast community of pain patients. Hi, Dr. Gordon. Thanks for being here today. We are so excited to learn more about your experiences treating pain and the therapies available to patients. Let's dive in. What brought you to pain medicine? Uh, Early on in medical school, I worked with a doctor up at Elkhart General, uh, Dr. Schrock, and he was an interventional pain doctor. And I got to see uh, his patients and talk to them about their experience. And uh, he was able to really improve their lives and make a huge impact with with certain interventional techniques uh, in the field of neuromodulation. So he was using spinal cord stimulation, intrathecal pain pumps, um, and other procedures um, they were having a, a really significant impact on their function and their pain. Um, so that got me interested in the field of interventional pain management, and I can continue to study that um, as I did my training in residency and fellowship. Um, and since I've been practicing here in Indianapolis for the past five years, um, the field has continued to grow with a lot of new technology uh, in the field of neuromodulation that's very exciting. Wow, that's so interesting. Um, It sounds like you're really passionate about using alternative and more advanced therapies to combat pain. So what is neuromodulation? Uh, Well, neuromodulation is anything that we're using to change the way nerves are firing or signaling. Um, In our field, we're using it to change uh, pain signals. Um, And pain signals can originate anywhere in your body. Um, And then they have to enter the spinal cord uh, and be processed there and make it to your brain before you experience pain. Um, And so anywhere along that path, we can change the way the nerves are firing and signaling. Um, So we can can use technology on the peripheral nerves, the nerves in the arms, the the nerves in the legs, and modulate the signals there. We can change the way the signals are firing in the spinal cord with spinal cord stimulators. And another technology that's sort of right in between is the dorsal root ganglion stimulator. Um, That sort of is the connection between the central nervous system, the brain and spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system throughout the body. And so that's a really sort of unique target um, where we can have a huge impact on the way patients are experiencing pain. That's so amazing. It sounds like there's a really effective mechanism to Um, combat pain in a minimally invasive way. So what's it like for a patient? What's their um, experience like once they receive a stimulator? Uh, So with the the dorsal root ganglion stimulator specifically, we're treating pain um, anywhere from basically the belly button all the way down to the toes. Um, So they come in and they have pain in one one region of the body. Um, So for example, in the feet. So we would um, put special stimulating wires on the L5 or the S1 nerves if we're treating foot pain, and those wires go into the spine. So patients, uh, they first come in and they have a trial of the device where we thread the the wires into their spine in a minimally invasive way while they're sleeping. Uh, We then wake them up and test them with those wires, and then they they go home and have those in their back for uh, five to seven days, and they monitor their pain, and they have to have at least 50% reduction in their pain Um, to have a successful trial. Our success rate with this device is over 90%. So over 90% of our patients have at least 50% reduction in pain. And for most of our patients receiving that type of technology, it's usually 80 to 90% reduction in pain. So it's very significant. Um, If they have a successful trial, we uh, do a minimally invasive permanent implant, which involves them going to sleep again under anesthesia. We put the wires into their spine through very tiny incisions and then we uh, implant a device that runs it, which is the, uh, the pulse generator that sends the signals to the wires. Um, that goes in their back, and uh, once that's all uh, closed and sewn up and the patients have healed, they barely notice these implants. The batteries run for about five years without having to be replaced and are very low maintenance. Um, and 
the DRG technology, um, which is something I'm really passionate about, it came out in 2016, um, and I trained on it initially in 2017 during my fellowship. Uh, I think it's so exciting because the patients that can respond to this have almost no other treatment options for their pain. Um, so someone with diabetic neuropathy, someone with any type of neuropathy in their foot, if it's not operable, they're usually told that they need to be on pain medication or nerve pain medication, um, and there's not a lot of options. So when they come to see me, um, they've been told that, they sort of expect me to say, you know, we'll try a new pain medicine, we'll try something new, maybe get a little bit more reduction in your pain. Um, and I'm, I'm always really excited when I can tell them that I have a technology that potentially can make them, you know, almost entirely pain-free in some uh, situations. Um, so for patients with the pain in the feet, patients with pain in their knee after knee replacement, it's a really tough type of pain to treat, and this technology works for that. Patients with hip pain after a hip replacement, um, patients with pelvic pain, chronic pelvic pain, it's a really big challenge to treat. Um, this works for that as well. And then recently I had a patient come to me, he had been experiencing pain in his one of his testicles for 20 years after he had a vasectomy. And nobody had any options to treat this. And that is the perfect patient for a DRG because it's a very well localized, severe type of nerve injury. So it's just really exciting to be able to talk to those types of patients. So when should a patient come see you? Um, well, I wish a lot more patients would know about this technology and um, come see me you know, a lot earlier because patients have been suffering usually for a long time before they find me. But if they have localized pain, um, so on, you know, in, in one or two joints um, in the lower extremities, in their, in their hips, their knees, their ankles or feet, um, if they have groin pain, um, really any pain after surgery um, in the lower extremities, anything below the belly button, um, that would be covered very well by this type of technology. Um, but there are some other types of um, uh, neuromodulation treatments we can do. Um, for the upper extremities and throughout the rest of the body, really from head to toe, there's usually a solution within that, the field of neuromodulation um, that can help patients in a, in a very significant way. So neuromodulation sounds like there's, um, it's always advancing. It's a field that's continuously improving the technology. How do you stay up to date on the latest advancements? Uh, the field has changed a lot. Even since I finished my training five years ago, um, the, the technology has continued to improve and there's areas that we, we weren't even doing anything with five years ago. Uh, peripheral nerve stimulation really became a, a, a lot bigger of a field five years ago um, and uh, that's a big part of my practice as well that has grown. So anywhere there's a nerve throughout the entire body that is sensing pain or causing pain from an injury, um, we can put a, a minimally invasive wire stimulating electrode on that nerve and we can modulate that pain signal and reduce the amount of pain sensation patients are experiencing. So, um, for example, somebody with carpal tunnel syndrome, they have a nerve injury in their wrist, um, usually you'll get that surgically decompressed, but that doesn't always treat all the pain. And so there's not a lot of options once you've completely decompressed a nerve if the nerve is still painful. Uh, but now with peripheral nerve stimulation, we can actually put stimulating wires, stimulating electrodes on that nerve and prevent those pain signals from reaching the patient's brain, and so they just don't experience that pain anymore. So it's, it's very exciting. And that technology we can, we can put in patients anywhere from, really from their neck all the way down into their feet. This is all really exciting um, information, and it sounds like you know the technology is just continuing to improve. Um, is there anything that you'd like to share with uh, your listeners about you and your background and what brought you to medicine and you know just a little history on yourself sure uh, well originally i was uh, i studied engineering at purdue and um, i was really interested in technology and science um, but i really wanted to figure out how i could use that to help people and so that that brought me into medicine and i've had a lot of great mentors along the way that have sort of shaped the way that uh, i practice now and so uh, i think um, you know, my training in, in different areas, in Indiana, in Chicago, in San Francisco, I've gotten a lot of different perspectives um, on how to treat pain. And I've tried to bring those back to, to my practice in Indiana. So I'm really excited to, to help people and use, you know, the best practices, the best technology we have, 
and I you know keep up with all of it by going to, to conferences around the country, um, collaborating with other um, interventional pain physicians throughout the country, um, and I think that's the uh, the way I'm going to keep growing in this field. Uh, it's really impressive uh, all this technology that you have at your fingertips to help patients live a better life. Tell us some success stories that your patients have had. Um, some. Yeah, with DRG stimulation, um, the outcomes have been phenomenal. Um, and I can remember a recent patient I had with neuropathy in his feet. And the neuropathy was keeping him up all night. He couldn't sleep. He had tried a bunch of different nerve pain medications. He tried opioids, really everything. And every night he dreaded going to sleep. And we put uh, a DRG stimulator into that patient. Um, I put uh, one lead on the left side for his left foot and one lead on the right side for his right foot at L5. Um, and he is at uh, about 90% pain relief. He's on almost no pain medication. He's extremely happy and um, his life has been completely changed. And every time I see him, he brings that up and, and how grateful he is for that. Um, another example, another patient I had um, came in with chronic pain in his groin he had a hernia repair. So we had that hernia repaired years ago. Um, the surgeon said everything went really well. As far as they could tell, everything was perfect with the hernia repair. But he has had significant sharp pain in his groin with a lot of different activity. And it's completely changed his life um, in terms of his, uh, uh, his activity with his wife. Um, any, any movement causes sharp pain there. He's also afraid of a lot of activities because of the pain. Um, but I put in a, a DRG stimulator at uh, the T12 and L1 nerves. Um, it was on the left side. And he's at nearly 100% relief. I think he says about 98% relief. And he, he can't believe it. And so those, those are just some of the areas where we can uh, completely, nearly completely eliminate pain signals from a localized area. And that always gets me excited when I have those types of patients. Um, but it's not just the patients that do, I mean, not every patient does, it's 98% relief, but I, I'm always impressed with how many patients are getting 80%, 85% relief. And that is, that's really significant for these patients where, you know, most of the other interventions we've done, injections might have lasted a very short amount of time and pain medication might take 30 to 40% of the pain away. Uh, but this really gives patients the opportunity to maybe be pain-free or at least not be afraid of their pain anymore. So what is a good uh, level of pain relief or what's your goal to get these patients to? Well, um, with, the, with the stimulation technology, whether it's DRG or spinal cord stimulation or peripheral nerve stimulation, our goal is a reduction of pain of at least 50%. Um, and a lot of times with, with DRG, we can get 80 to 90% or more. Uh, but I, I do try to focus with patients on their function a lot more than their pain reduction. So we review all the activities that they're not doing, um, the activities where they're expecting to experience a significant amount of pain. Um, and we make sure during the trial process that they're doing those activities and, and functioning a lot better. Uh, we also look at the amount of pain medicine they're needing and if we can reduce the amount of pain medication. So more than just pain scores, um, we're definitely looking at function um, and the amount of medications they're using. And uh, all those things are very important. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Dr. Gordon. It was a pleasure getting to speak with you and learn more about uh, neuromodulation. Um, for those listening, you can make an appointment with Dr. Gordon by visiting indiepain.com or giving his office a call today. Thank you for having me, Dakota.